in this video we are going to see how to handle uh, how the php handles exception handling it is error handling uh, in php how it handles that's what we are going to see so error handling is the process of catching the errors raised by the program and then taking appropriate action if don't handle the errors then in the, then it leads to leads you to unforeseen circumstances okay so it is very simple in php to handle error let us see one example uh, while writing uh, let us see uh, one simple example let us consider we have this test dot text uh, if you don't have this text file uh, this actually before that i'll explain this program this program uh, reads this file if it is not present then it has to force error or else if it is there then it has to read the file that is the concept of this program now there is a simple way of handling error of this type in php using die so here we use the file exist file underscore this is a php function what it will do is it will uh, the argument passed must be a file name now it checks whether the file is existing or not in the respective folder whatever the path you are in. if it is given like this then it will check in the current folder if it is not present then we are handling the error saying that die die is also an exception handling function so it just uh, so whatever is given within that that message will be posted yes what it will do is it will open the file in a read mode and then uh, say uh, open file successfully if it is success okay now uh, imagine that this file is not there so it simply say file not found so uh, it gives some meaningful information to the user for that we use the file hand uh, exception handle so this is what normally happens when an exception is triggered so here it, this itself is an exception so when it is triggered the current code state is saved whatever is executed when uh, execution of uh, exception handling is equal to execution of a function so whenever a function is called what do what the compiler will do it will save the current code and the next uh, uh, next instructions all those things uh, location should be pushed into the memory stack and when there is a return statement from the function it will pop up the return value and start executing its a normal execution with a sequence of execution so the current code state is saved the code execution will switch to a predefined exception handler function that's what it will go to the respective uh, function exception handling function. depending on the situation the handler may then resume the execution from the saved code state terminate the script execution or continue the script from a different location in the code so now we will see the basic use of exception so when an exception is thrown the code following it will not be executed when an exception takes place when an error takes place the code next to that will not get executed so the php will try to find a matching catch block so when a error is thrown it has to be handled it has to be caught so now when there is an uncaught exception if the error is not caught properly what it will do so let us take this example where we don't handle the error properly see function uh, there is a function called dev where we pass two parameters the simply what it do is it divides dollar in this first variable by second variable if the second variable is uh, zero if the value is zero then divide by zero error occurs so here what we do is throw new exception but it is not properly handled it was not caught exception is thrown but it is not handled properly so now what will happen suppose uh, if it is equal to 0 only it will go here if not it will return the divide, division value now we are calling it from the main program like this so what happened since the exception is not and here we pass the zero so definitely this exception this will go inside this and a new exception is thrown so the output will be coming like this or it will be like this here uncaught exception divided by zero error in this so now how to handle that error so for that we have to do the following 
we have to use the three main uh, snippets try throw and catch so what is try a function uh, uh, we about what we assume is this function will create an error means that has to be put in the try code so try a function using an exception should be in a try block so whatever we think that these are all the places where the error comes all those things you can place it in a try block and if that exception occurs then it can be thrown and it will be cached in a catch block so each try will have a respective catch block so yeah if the exception does not trigger the code will continue as well as we have seen if this does not occur the code will continue and this will be executed and it will be a normal execution uh, through this is how you trigger an exception here we trigger the exception but it was not caught that is a problem here so uh, trigger each throw must have at least one catch so catch block retrieves an exception and creates an object containing the exception information now let us try uh, this with the try block let us the same program if you do with the try and catch then it will be properly handled so here if you see that function the same thing here we are throwing the error and then uh, so what uh, this is a keyword how you can throw an error how you can make it to throw an error by using the keyword throw new then exception exception is a class and using new we create an object of that and here whatever we pass that is a message so the exception object it has many properties we can access those properties also but here whatever we pass it that will be accessed as a message okay to return this now how it can be handled by using a try block and within that we have to call this echo statement that is we have to call this uh, function which is creating the error so whereas in the previous one we have not handled like that we have directly called but instead we have to call it within a try block so if there is any error occurs then it will throw this exception and whatever the exception thrown that will be catched by this catch statement catch and this exception dollar e so dollar e will have this uh, this is a variable a parameter of this uh, object and you can have various methods which are declared in this uh, methods which are declared in this object that you can access one of the method is get message so this get message what it do dollar e get message mean this is a message which you are passing so that is what printed here if you use this function now we'll see how to do that same program without uh, handling of error now i just try So you have to write the one which will create error. So for which we have returned this throw new exception that has to be written within the try block. And then when the error is thrown, then we have to catch that. So for that you have to write a catch block dollar e. This is the uh, variable. through which an object with through which we access all the methods of this exception the class exception is a class so for that uh, we can access all the properties and methods of that using this uh, variable get message so when you say get message whatever is passed here that will be called and it will be printed now we'll see how it gets executed the same program i am including some syntax error okay function we have try block there is no closing parenthesis the mistake is divided by zero error it's what printed because of this it it it, it gives error suppose i pass something else 
for this parameter. If there is zero for the B value only, it will throw this error. Now, or else it will print the value, five by two. Now we'll see the what happens here. The div function is created. This, this function is created. Just an explanation of that, whatever I have said. It checks if the divisor is zero. If it is an exception is true. So here it checks if the divisor is zero. If it is an exception is true. The div function is called in a try block. You have to call it from a try block. The one which will throw error, that has to be, that function has to be called within a try block. The exception within the div function is throw. The catch block retrieves the exception. It retrieves whatever is uh, exception is thrown, it get it and creates an object dollar e containing the exception information. So this is an object uh, which contains the related information of the exception. The error message from the exception is echoed by calling this from the exception object. 